guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Miami, and this is Project a and where I talk about HIV awareness, HIV education, news, updates, and everything that's going on around this world in HIV. All right, so this is part two of my last video. If you have not watched my last video, and I said there was two big news stories, and this one I think is one of the biggest ones, even over that one, right? Because we have a possibility of a cure. And this is a real news story. This is not no clickbait. This is not no fake story. All my links to every news story that I talk about here on Project AM YouTube page are always down and linked below in the description box so that you could go ahead and read on it. And if this is true, you guys, we are almost there. So the Gene Technologies in Rockville, Maryland just submitted a thousand page document to the FDA stating they have found the way to cure HIV. Okay. Now. This has been an amazing breakthrough. I don't think we've heard about a cure in the U.S. in a very long time. We hear about these cures maybe in Europe. Um, they found new ways to do this and that, and they never stick. They never work. They never go past anything. They just stay right there with one or two people, and they never go big in the world. So for this to happen in the United States, this is a major thing because now that it's out, now that it's submitted, they are waiting from the FDA to approve this or actually respond to them by the end of this year. And they are hoping that trials can start in January in 2020. So they're basically saying their gene and therapy is unlike anybody else who have even came close to inventing something like this. And that it's going to be a single dose to eradicate HIV forever for the rest of your life. And you will be no more. There's no more treatment. There's no more. None of that. It would just be gone with a single dose. And what I love about this story is because, man, all the people that we lost, all the people who had to take all of these drugs, all the people who had to do all these trials and all of these things would be all worth it. This will mean so much to so many people, millions and millions of people, not just in the United States, but also in Africa, um, also just the world. It would just free up one less thing we have to worry about when it comes to diseases People can get back to not worrying about the stigma. And that's for HIV positive people and HIV negative people. Because this thing definitely is going to have to bring everybody out to the test to get tested. Everybody will have to get tested. If there's a cure for HIV, everybody better go get tested just to make sure. Because there's nothing to be scared of no more. So the testing sites are going to go skyrocket. Um, which is fine, which is good, which is great because you have to at least know so that way we could just nip it in the bud and everybody get tested, make sure, you know what I mean? Um, ah, this is going to be good. However, <laughs> y'all know I have a however, right? I really have a however and I hate to even think like this because I feel so amazing bringing this story to you guys. There is a big however, I'm calling this part two of the video, but I did a part one video because there was another news story that came out this week about another strand of HIV that just got discovered. And it has been almost 20 years since the last one has been discovered. Now, does this new cure cover this new strand that has just been discovered? Yeah. And I hate to think like that, but this is America home of the pharmaceutical <laughs> if hiv is gone with this cure that has just been submitted to the fda you don't think somebody had released this new strand how is it this same week you know maybe it's just a coincidence but maybe you no know, anyway i don't want to get into that this is about the blessings of a possible cure that has came out of the United States. I'm grateful that we have this possible cure that can go ahead and cure this whole entire world. I can only just hear how my mom will feel right now or if my brothers were older right now, living still with HIV, I want to know, you know, like how would they feel at this moment? I think it's just a great moment. And, um, and I hope this is it. I hope this is really it. And if it is... Wow. Wow. Okay. And you guys know I'm going to keep up with this story, right? So you may want to go ahead and turn on your notifications right now because every little small step they're taking 
I'm going to be right there reporting it to you guys right here on Project A&M. And you will be the first one to know because you'll have your notifications on, right? Or, or, or wrong. <laughs> so make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you comment below your comments. And of course, you're on the email, Project A&M Inc. at Gmail. Contact me anytime. And um, yeah, I would love to hear your feedback on these topics and make sure you go watch the, the other video about this new strand of HIV and what that really means, what that really means for if this is not the cure. And if it is, boom, we're not to worry about it. But if this is not the cure or the cure for that strand, we have other things to talk about. So um, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching today. Y'all know how this go.